Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jorge Norgard. I am a digital character designer and sculptor. Um, I'm here to show you guys a little bit of my workflow and um, hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be sculpting a alien, sort of. I have an idea in my mind. It's a little bit abstract, but uh, I'm going to kind of go in and start figuring out all the forms. So feel free to ask me any questions. Um, you know, in terms of technical like interface, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, and also, you know, if, if you have any anatomy questions or you know, your, like, character design, you know, I'm going to be doing a very organic design, so it's going to apply a lot of anatomy. So if you have anatomy questions, yeah, feel free to shoot, and uh, I'll be happy to answer. Okay, so I'm going to get going with this, and uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, shoot, shoot questions if you have any. All right. Let's see. Let's start. Starting with this Dynamesh show, it um, it lets me really push forwards and start figuring out the shape. I love playing with Dynamension, so it really lets me it's not like that, it just lets me play with some shapes. I'm like used to working on these CT. Like I have the 16 inch uh, CT Pro, which I got a year ago. It's been like the most amazing thing I've ever had. So I, can just, I can just take it anywhere. Uh, but then when I get this like 24 inch CT, it's like, oh my god, it's so overwhelming. <laughs> Because I'm used to working small, and it's just like, it's, uh, it's just like so big. But I like it. Winston says, hello, Jorge. Hey. What's up, Winston? I will throw questions to you when I get them. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Do you have a go-to anatomy reference that you keep on hand, yeah, like a certain book, have. or any other reference digital form, at crochet models, I guess? Yes, yes. I, I do have those anatomy models. I have a big crochet, the female crochet that's part skeleton, part muscles, right in front of me, like on my desk. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's great to just have it there, you know, available always. So, you know, if you have any doubt, just look that up. I also recommend the Anatomy for Sculptors book. It's something I've been recommending my students from Art Center uh, that they, they're doing the clay maquettes. Um, it's called Anatomy for, for, for Sculptors, pretty much, yeah. And um, maybe we could throw a link there. I don't know if they had, they started with the Kickstarter. Um, but yeah, that's a great book. Also, Tara Whitlash, she's like one of the top artists in terms of ritual design. She loves, she loves kind of like mixing up different animals and, you know, making the animal work. So when I'm, I'm trying to come up with limbs, I just push in and mask out some stuff. I'm pushing the forms. Do you always use two color lights when you're sculpting? Yes, I do. I do. Because it lets me lets me really see the down planes. Like I could see, you know, I can see what I'm doing. If I if I have it off, then it's like it's way too dark of a shadow. And then I don't really can't see what I'm doing, so it's a good indicator of how the forms are turned. You gonna put print this on a digital uh, 3D printer? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good, yeah, I have a 
I'm a dentist, so we use uh, <laughs> we have uh, this application yeah. too. Yeah. For, uh, uh, well, I'm gonna I try to do this instead, yeah, of, yeah, instead, of, dental, instead of doing the uh, wax. Appointment. Yeah. Scan and then scan and then throwing them in and brush. Well, we put we scan and then we and there's a. A program that makes the tooth, but then you have to change, modify it usually. Are you sharing the, with, with the patient? Or are you sitting down with them and showing them? Yeah, the yeah, 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 and they like it because they get it all in one appointment. Right. Yeah, you guys have to keep coming back. back. So yeah, yeah, you yeah, don't have to put temporary on there. Yeah. But most people want to sit and say, oh, I'll wait, but then they don't have to get numbed up for so so. But ours is built out of porcelain. They make one out of gold, but it doesn't make sense. To them. It's not really 3D printing because it's a block that's built. So it's reversing this. This one is going into the light, right? right. But we have that too for dentures. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, I've several dentists over the years. Yeah, I'm not headed to go. Oh, okay. So, what, are you familiar with the cat down there? Well, that's what that is. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, they basically, all of them just, like, stopped. They just looked at their breasts and figured out. Yeah. Yeah. They went down. Yeah. 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 But I do make it proud. Oh, yeah, he's here. He's here tonight. Yep. He's like, so they're all five. Like, you know, before they would do like you guys wax back in the day. That's fun. Most of the toys you see in your house are like a lot of them. Like, you have Get a brush in. Oh, it's Oh, it's a Oh, it's a brush. Oh, it's a brush. Oh, brush. Oh, 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 he prints this. Yeah. And the negative. And then you guys cast it. And then he poured it. Yep. Oh, it's just it's like casting. Yep, same thing you do. Invest cast. Yeah. Oh, no. so he did that as well. Not him, but Rod Maxwell. Oh, that's cool. Is that the bottom? Yeah. Oh, I was like, what? It's like, you get all the power. The, the, that, this. What is that, helmet? Yeah, it's a cosplay helmet. <laughs> so it's fiberglass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Seriously. Joseph designed that. Oh, no. And uh, Andrew Clement 3D printed it. Like, uh, and then he did his movies. Fast. All in fiberglass. And they put the details on it. So possible. In fact, in general, the hard part is finding the Try to work in airplanes, but it's it's pretty hard. <laughs> so, but um, but you know when I'm on a, in the airport waiting, you know I can just pop it out and work on C brush if I like. Or, and it's also very convenient because I can just you know hook it up to a second monitor and then I just have it. I just use it as. And then you can use it with a C airplane. Where you have like a larger computer, you just get a CPU and you just hook up the same team. <laughs> 
use it as a second box. Whatever cooker on. It's a need to It's very more satile. I like the G-Shift though, Kevin. Keeping it old school. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. So where are you? Where did you land somewhere? Yeah, I'm staying with friends and just... I'm talking about job. Oh, job, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have a job. I have a job. The best job ever. Working from home with Just Play. Okay. Yeah, working from home with them and school, freelancing, and then they're like, do you want to just full time it? And I was like, I don't want to go to your office, I don't want to drive. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, so I am full time now, yes. Yes. I knew you'd land on your feet. Yes. Of course. I don't want to be seen by everyone. What? Instead of in your recording. Yeah. That, that was Solomon, guys. Solomon Slayer. Yeah. So that's Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just in case I don't have to I'll show myself out. 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 And you're doing it in the No, it's not a thing. I decided like that. You're just practicing. You're enjoying Yeah. 
uh, but also I wanted to be like the anatomy. I wanted to be you know just different. So this guy's alien. So then, so what if we just like inverse these arms? What happens when you inverse an arm? Right, triceps go to the front, and then biceps go to the back. All this stuff like kind of twists around. So yeah, I have pretty much like a vague idea, but as I go through, it starts to I do have a lot of influences, you know, artists like Carlos Guante. Um, I, I love this stuff, how he just like pushes things. So that's what I'm trying to get here, just flow between these forms. So I want this guy to be like fat on the neck, so I'm just gonna add like a little roll. Like what if it's like a like a puffy neck, you know? That'd be funny. Okay, while you're doing this, you have room for one more? Okay. All right, so this is from Twitch. Um, is Dynamash Spear your go-to starting point in most models? Uh, depending. If I'm doing a bust, I like to start with a sphere. But if I'm doing like a make head, like a full body creation, um, I you know I, I tend to use C spheres. It's pretty it's pretty useful. C spheres are great for just mocking up something. But I mean, I've I've also started from a sphere, just building a whole new body. It's like it's really it gives me the freedom to push and stretch, you know, and uh, yeah. So. I guess it really depends how fast also, right? How, how fast I need it to be done. So I think C spheres is a good way to start fast. So then you get like a clear idea, like a clear general idea of what you want to make. Uh, the next one is, do, uh, do you do your own 3D printer or farm it out? I recently just got a new 3D printer. Um, so yeah, I never, I've always had really awesome friends that hooked me up <laughs> with the printing because it's so expensive, right? Right, so what frame do you, uh, what printer do you have yeah, right uh, now? A Form 2. Form 2. Yeah, okay. Form 2 from Form Labs. It's the, okay. they, they just came up with a new one, Form 3, but now that they're cheaper, you know, now it's a little bit more affordable. So this is a street part question. The last part is any tip for 3D hair on models that will be printed? Yes. Uh, don't do fiber mesh, right? Um, and when you're, so you gotta, you gotta sculpt out the hair, like mass it out. Like when you see like sideshow collectibles, um, the hair is masked out. So you, you have to go in and build up the shape. I usually use uh, play build up to create shapes. And I look at artists like Brian Booth Gregg and, um, and also, um, you know, Jose Fernandez, the, the, the boss at Ironhead. I mean, he's a he's a master at hair. You know, he's like creates. Check out the masks, the line of masks they did. They like Tetsu also. He works at a tattoo studio. They did like masks of chimpanzees and stuff, and they sculpt out the hairs. And I think that's a great approach to doing it. I mean, I, it's definitely the best because then you have total control of the forms how they feel and cross the so that's all the questions so far. Awesome. I'm gonna put some teeth in this guy. So I just go in and like buy a man brush. And then uh, I move this, this guy in to like, pinch him down a little bit. Also with the snake hook, that works really good. I can just like move around. Uh, uh, yeah, and also I make weird sounds when I sculpt and when I get excited, excited. Oh man. Got some teeth there. So now I have like these base teeth. I want this guy to have like little tiny sharp teeth. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate these guys. Make smaller version. I also deform them using the gizmo. Try to give them a little bit of uh, sharpness to it. That's nice. Get that again. I'm really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not for a while. Otherwise, they'd be like, why haven't you replied to me? <laughs> I got a new job. I work for Honda Motors now. Oh, As a technical hell yeah. Illustrator. It's nice. Technical illustrator. So you're you're working on, like, what, like, Themselves, just drawing the cars. We're, we, yeah, we're not in R and D, but we are. Uh, we're, tra we're training, right? So we build yeah. instructionals uh, for mechanics. Oh, uh, I work with programmers and some master mechanics, and then we put together modules for them so that they can figure out how to play our, uh, figure out how to repair our cars, troubleshoot. Oh, cool. Nice. That's good. It's it's good. It's really healthy. Uh, some nice. metal here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Does it have a lag? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you, man. Likewise. Yeah. I'll let you go back to your business. All right. All right. Come and say hi. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good to see you. Is, uh, is Joe still here? Um, no, I don't know. Many left? How many left? No idea where they are. Oh, uh, okay. I'll probably keep coming back. Trying to say yeah. Hi to everybody. Okay, this guy definitely needs some chin. Somebody was was refer uh, uh, anatomy for sculptors. Which yeah. Is, anatomy for, is that what you refer? To? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anatomy for sculptors. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. It started as a Kickstarter. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I think I 
push those teeth out. Pretty, pretty old age. <laughs> I mean, I'm still working these farms out, but probably, I mean, I, I just have an hour to kind of block in this piece, but follow me, follow me on Instagram, uh, shameless plugging right there. <laughs> um, I'll be posting, I'm going to be posting like the final product of this guy, and then go home and, and continue working on him. Yeah. See, I sculpt like kind of like all over the place. I really just like go by my instinct. Um, 
I don't have like this methodical like way of like tackling. It's like an, an order. I just go in like, okay, what's what's the best way to tackle this guy? So I'm like, I can be like on the arms, and then all of a sudden I'm on the face. I'm not sure if it was asked of you yet because I got pulled. Did okay. you get your character from a realistic idea, like an animal or humor, or do you just go abstract from the get-go? Uh, it depends, like, depends, depends. It really depends. If, like this one, are you just going? Yeah, going I'm just going it? super abstract. Yeah, just like just winging it. Um, but if there's like a already an idea behind it, then you know it's depending on the concept, like the preliminary concept. If I get the concept from uh, already made, you know, if a person did it, a concept designer. Are you doing mostly or, freelance work now? Yeah. Are you teaching still? Yes. Where are you teaching? I'm teaching at Art Center in College of Design. And I just taught a ZBrush course at the Cinema Makeup School. Excellent. And you're a graduate also of? Art Center. There we go. Good, how are you? Paul taught me ZBrush. Former student, former yeah. student. Spreading the virus. Nice. You got 13 minutes left, so you know. <laughs> you got 13 minutes left before you can jump on. Okay, 13 minutes, guys. Well, this is what I was able to do. You're ready? I'm gonna. I'm nervous. I'm just excited. Yeah. I'm going and sharpen this guy right here. I'm just gonna watch this. Hey, how's it going? I know. I mean, an hour is not enough. An hour is not very long at all. No. Well, this guy's gonna have like a racing knuckle right here. You've been getting a lot of questions, like online or? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, they've come through a few. Yeah. And then sometimes people come up and talk to you here as well. Yeah. Then sometimes I'm loud when people are up here talking to me. So I gotta try and show subtle. But it's hard to move sometimes. Hey guys, so this is what I've been doing. It's work, but it's getting there. Do you want to there you want to put your feet out here behind me? Socks, but it is what it is. Eyes? Yes, I was thinking putting putting eyes on him like right here, like I did a little bit of a indication. I might just use uh, some IMM brushes now that you brought it up. I'm gonna do it right now. So I'm just gonna oh, I make sure I have symmetry on. Get okay, those eyes in there. Stretch him out a little bit, right? Fit in there. Have you experimented with the new uh, split screen feature? No. All right. What is that? Go to tra Go to transform. Okay. Okay. Transform. Yeah. And then see the slider says split screen. 
move it to one, two, three, or four, whatever you want. There you go, either one of them. So now what we do is we show you the selected sub tool on the top, and the rest of the sub tools are on the bottom. Wow. So like kind of like a digital referencing ability. So you can either do top to bottom, bottom to top, left to right, or right to left. So that's the only difference between one, two, three, four. Would I be able to see like 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 in Maya where I got the front view and then the like the front view? No, this is just taking only the selected sub tool and okay. showing on one side. Okay. And then the around nice. the other sub tool will be shown on the other side. And that's really useful. That's pretty useful. So if you do the slider one is probably the most popular when you put in that one, it's probably the most popular to do it. Oh what? So this way like someone would do maybe scan data on the left and they're sculpt on the right kind of a thing. So then you got a digital reference. That's, that's so that why awesome. you can so you can turn and be looking at the reference the other way. So it's it's a way in essence using 3D referencing. That's awesome. Instead of just screenshot yeah. or control yeah. S. Yeah, instead of screenshotting, just do this. Make make a duplicate. Yeah. Have one, and then you can even do that. Make a duplicate. Yeah, 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 so like say you're taking this guy. Yeah. And you go, okay, make a duplicate, now let's make another version, and then you can okay. see which one you're even just looking at. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then mess with that one, and the other one's not going to get touched. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's new to 2019.1.2. Not to 2019, we actually added in one of the updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be featured. We, like, just got it 2019 at work, so okay. everyone's going to be playing around with it. So you gotta have the point one point two to get that though. This is where it goes online. Here we go. Everybody's learning. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. learning. You're down to eight minutes, so you know too. Okay. He started late. Oh, you started late? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Now, now I can see like what I okay. I tweak the proportions, right? How do you buy the, the touch ball? This thing, it's amazing. Yeah, I'm used to the 16 inch, and it's when I'm working this a little bit overwhelming too. This is a 24 inch. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm used to like working like this size, max. So. And then this is their arm too. It's on, a, for those online that you can't see, uh, the Cintiq's on an arm that they make as well, so you can adjust it any way you want. And this arm will work for their 32 inch and their 24 inch. It's their new line. And then they just announced here at the show a new 22 inch Cintiq, which we have here at the booth as well. And they got it over there, so. Yep, so it's a more affordable price point. So I think, I think it's going like $1,200, I think. I don't know. I can see it before and after here. You know where the bridge is gonna be. It's like a, it, yeah, it's like um, it's a smudge guard. Yeah, it's like it's sweaty hands, you know. All right, so see what you're doing now, right? Is what people yeah. want to do with it. You got the version you had on the left. Now you're making another yeah. version. And you can see which one do I like better. Yeah, it's amazing. It's super handy. Yeah, especially if you're doing like uh, variations, right? Like yeah. if, you, if you plan to do like concept. Yeah, that was kind like, of the idea with it. It's awesome. It's actually requested from an artist. Okay. And we thought it was a clever idea in a great way, so we implemented it. Yeah, that's awesome. Martin Canali asked us about it. Yeah, they uh, sculpted like, for Sideshow. Yeah. Yeah. Ironically. <laughs> He's like, what if? Yeah. You guys make it happen. I mean, you guys. We do size. implement stuff that users ask 100%. We do. For us and I usually go through a list to see what people request. See, I want to put this. Very interesting. Yeah. See, now I got my thing back here. Yeah, 
just starting to play around with the colors. It's awesome. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. It's for me, it's for in just the folder and then it drops right below the solar. Commercial. right here. And some cuts right here, maybe this is like the neck that's coming out. Well, the shoulder connecting here to the back. Pull out a little bit of the torso right here. So I'm using St. Cloud to make that really bold. Right there. Right there. Show your new okay, yeah. feature. So go to transform and then split screen. Oh yeah. And yeah, it's in the new second okay, half. Two two visible subtools. That is cool. Yep. So I can see the one that I'm working on and the one they had before, the previous one. Okay. And uh, yeah, it just lets me see you know that my progress is you're scanning one side, sculpting the other side, so as you're rotating, you just scan those rotating. Okay, yeah, I saw this and I wasn't entirely sure how to integrate it to my workflow. And I try and do that with a lot of the new tools. Okay. Yeah. He's using and he, as what he had on the left and now what he's got on the right. Still got all the same time. Okay. And this is basic material too that you're doing? I see that's a lot yeah. in there. Yeah, basic material too, yeah. That's one thing I need to work on. I like the fact that you guys finally added the, uh, the screensaver. Oh yeah. that was, oh my god, that was that a nice thing. Yeah. I know, everyone thinks something's wrong. Oh my god. Up. Well, yeah, I'll turn my back and I'll look away and I'll be like, an amazing piece of art, but it's like a skeleton face just like looking at me. And I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. It me out. <laughs> I had to like extend the time between. Yeah. yeah. I like it, but dang, it has to get me out. <laughs> Weren't expecting it. Snuck up on you guys. So does that just grab from uh, people posting, or do you guys have yep. like a library? It's from coming straight from Zebra Such on the screen saver. Okay. So they are handpicked by us. Okay. Goes in. Okay. Yeah. You might want to put a a PG mode on it because there's a couple of them that are a little uh, raunchy. Maybe just, maybe just or an NSF double. The uh, ZBrush and two screens question. Okay. No. What? They want to know if they can have ZBrush on two screens. Part of the reason why it's not, and part of the reason why you can't rip anything off, is we're software rendered. We're not using a video card. So if you guys have dual monitors, if you weren't even in this case, Corey's not even using the other monitor, we would also still have to be rendering. The other monitor at all times, and it's not in use. So that's part. That's not ever the only reason, but that's some of the reasons. Plus, the code, the pretty much foundation, right, is another reason why. But one big reason is we're software rendered. We're not using a video card, so that's why there's also doesn't have the multiple what you asked, multiple cameras and angles as well. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that. Second screen should be a reference, anyways. Yeah, but I think they probably want to put the UI to uh, rip it off the yeah. UI in the other screen. Yeah, I can see that. 
see I'm how this works. I'm starting to get to the point where I have to start to take things off and put things I use, newer things on. Yeah. I'm definitely running out of the room. I know. Uh, you know who knows a lot? Okay, well, hey, you're going to be able to finish up here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much, yeah, this is like the preliminary sketch. I'm still going to work on this at home. <laughs> Do you, make it do you paint over it in Photoshop when you're done, or are you just painting it in here? I paint it here. I can show you a little bit. I could, yeah, I could go yeah, in and... Uh, right. Give it a minute. Yeah. All right. Cool. cool. It's 3.30, but... All right. If you want to show a little bit. Yeah. The player won't mind. Let me... I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, stay. I usually go with... Uh, just um, skin shape four. I'll build the object. Color, worst color. Now I can just. Oops. Now I can just start painting real quick. Is there any way to make some of the larger buttons smaller? So, for example, say you you never do this, but you take duplicate and put it on your on the one of the edge screens. But it's it's a huge button. Is there a way to make it like the size of say like an insert? No. no. Okay. It's hard coded in that okay. size. Okay. As a user, you won't be able to adjust that. Okay. I like how you can at least make the brush buttons for this. Yeah. That's go by if there's a lot of brushes, then it's automatically put it to adjust the size of the brush. Yeah. Yeah. Got some alphas too, so. I can go in and um, do some drag rig and start creating some patterns. Let's see. Um, this one's pretty good. Multitasking. I, I, I guess. Um, so, are you still playing your idle heroes on the side too? <laughs> what? Are you still playing your cell phone games on the side too? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I only have like three people on it, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I just. I mean, I, I've been 
I'm a person that can multitask a lot. Like I, I not only sculpt but I also illustrate. And um, I'm always drawing. I'm always switching from task to task. And um, with teaching, uh, it has really pushed me to talk and, and work and, and explain what I'm doing as I go. I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and I think. I mean, it's. I think it's a, it's a skill that you gotta keep building. Okay. All right, we got five minutes, guys. Do you have any questions? Now's the time. Oh my god, that chin is funny. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little transpose master. So I want to tilt the head of this guy real quick and give him a little pose just to give him a little bit of life. I'm just going to go ahead and mask this guy out. Or I could just do it with the, the lasso. Soften my mask. And you get some of those little antennas in the back. And now I'm going to make sure to place that right. I'm visualizing the vertebrae right where's the pivot point of that skull. And then I'm just going to put, oh my god, all right, I masked, I did a mask this area right here. Just make sure that I have everything masked. There you go. That's pretty cool. Maybe a little bit more. What's good? Thanks. <laughs> and now I'm going to trans C plug in C pose smash. It's gonna do its magic. Yay! And now I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, mass by cavity and I'll be done. Hit it with a, with a standard brush, and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of purple. I think would be nice. I'll hide the mask so I can see what I'm doing. I'll soften it a little bit. some accents yeah. and now hit it with some pails okay all right one minute <laughs> well thank you so much guys for tuning in and uh, you know, uh, make sure make sure to follow me. Uh, I'll be posting more of this work on my site on Instagram at Jorge Norgard. Um, you know, get ZBrush, have fun with it. I mean, I'm sure you guys uh, have ZBrush. I'm
here as most of you. Um, it's a great program. I, I love it. I mean, in a matter of less than an hour, I can do something like this. It's just incredible. So, um, yeah. Um, thanks for thanks for being here, guys. Okay. Peace. Take care.